You never did your Smurfs homework. No, I don't, and I'm not going to. Give me an F in that class. What about Baldur Baldur's Gate 3? I don't know if I want to stream Baldur's Gate 3, because I feel like I would make a character, get into the actual game, throw a rock at somebody, get, uh, like, arrested in the game, uh, poop my pants or something, and then be like, ah, I'm, I'm kind of done. Because, like, the actual video game Baldur's Gate, I, I, I have no idea even how it plays. I know it's, like, third person, but it's top down, but I, I, don't, I don't know anything about it. I mean, it, it looks fun. It looks really fleshed out. Just, I, I, everyone's talking about it. I'm getting the FOMO. I'm getting Baldur's Gate 3 FOMO. I'm seeing, holy shit, this is the greatest single experience I've ever experienced in my entire life. And it's like, holy shit, okay, I should probably get it. And then you see, like, the, the characters people are making, it's like, whoa, okay. All right, you can make characters and stuff? That sounds fun. So I'm getting Baldur's Gate FOMO. Let's see if it turns into anything. Hey, I still haven't done my Smurfs homework. <laughs> I just, fucking just... No, you know what's funny about the Smurfs homework? I assigned it, and I didn't even do it. I assigned the homework. I wonder how many of you watched the Smurfs movie, took a bunch of notes, and were ready for class, and the teacher just didn't even bring the textbook in. Yeah, you, you, you kids go ahead and go. Go do this math assignment and bring it in when you're done. Okay, I did the math assignment. It's three days later. It's a week later. Yeah, we're not doing that shit anymore. We're moving on to it. We're talking about rocks today and where they come from. You know, it's lava. It's lava. You know that? I did. I did. I'm the teacher. I know more than kids. All right, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. It's going to hang out. Don't help me either. I don't want any help. If anybody gives any help, they're going to get banned. Is this like an anime? Can I skip the intro or people get mad at me? Do these is a landmark of San Francisco. I might just get this wrong. The Silver Porch Bridge. The Bronze Door Bridge. The, okay, it's gold. It's Golden Gate Bridge. See, no doubt about it. Is that your final The answer? Silver Porch Bridge. That all right, that's a hundred bucks. Easy. Complete the name at the end of the saying, meaning it'll be done immediately before you can say Jim Parkinson, John Tompkinson, Jack Robinson, James Donaldson. Hmm. It'll be done before you can say Jim Parkinson, John Tompkinson. I have no idea. I actually have absolutely no idea. Who says this? Before you can say James Donaldson. All right, I have to do this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. We need a little help here. If you would. Jack Robinson. How would this many people know that? It'll be done before you can say Jack Robinson. Right. Okay. See. What? I guess it's correct. Lama is a title for a spiritual leader in which religion? Lama? Lama? Uh, give me a new question. I don't know. The town of Telford is named after Thomas Telford, who was famous in which field? This is even this is even harder. Uh, it's probably finance. I feel like it's finance because the, the, you have like a bunch of money, and like I'm naming this town after me because I have a shitload of money. Does that make sense? How long ago is this? I can't reliably say. Let's call somebody. It's only the two thousand dollar question. This is a disaster. <laughs> All right, I'll. I'll, I'll all right, I'll call Zelda, my wife. Yes, hello, I'm listening. Good evening. This is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and Pablo needs your wisdom. Well, I'm going to do my best then. Zelda, you're my last hope on this one, but don't put too much pressure on yourself, okay? Not too much. It's C. No doubts whatsoever. No doubt, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go with C. Engineering. Get C, right? Okay, C. So, you Damn. Really know your Got it. Okay. By question. what name is the writer Charles Lutwig Dogson better known? Charles Lutwig... Lutwig Dogson. I don't know who any of these people are. From now on... Okay, I'm going to see. Is the right answer. I would stake my life on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that's not something you should say. All right. Well, whatever. That was a warm up. That was a warm up. It's fine. By the way, this doesn't really matter as I have so I don't even know how I got so many of these. How do I have a million points? Did I cheat? Wait, how did this happen? How did I get a million points? 
I don't understand how this happened. I really don't understand it. I opened this and had the same reaction. I was like, what? <laughs> Million neurons. <laughs> uh, okay. I, there's some of these I just don't know if I really want it. I don't have like really good answers to. Should, it, should we only do superheroes? Should we only do Star Wars and Disney? Should I just do them all? Who cares? Who's the main character of Breaking Bad? Uh, Walter Green. I would say D, obviously. You figured it out perfectly. <laughs> On what planet do the Wookiees live? Oh shit! I should. I oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's one of these two. I'm not looking at chat. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna be. People are gonna think I'm a fucking idiot if I get this wrong. Okay, I had a feeling. I know there's no way to verify if I'm cheating or not, but I am assure you I'm not. Who directed the film Star Wars The Last Jedi? Uh, that would be Ryan Johnson. I hope I get three Star Wars questions in a row. Oh, I know this one! I know this one! Bat chest! What name is given to a single gemstone and a piece of jewelry? Hmm... It's a... it's a single... Here for you. That was this completely wrong. Right I have a million neurons. You guys think you're smart? I got a million fucking neurons up here. A million. I have a million neurons. Be curious about the joke of this is. Most humans have trillions of neurons. So therefore having a million neurons sounds like a large number, but it's absolutely not. It's a small number. Just want to make sure everyone understands the comedic, uh, the comedic process there. Okay. What is the national airline of Ireland? Air Shamrock, Air Shalag, Air O'Plane, Air Lingus, Air O'Plane. I like that. If it's not that, it should be. It's not this one. It's this one. It's it's Air Lingus. It's Air Lingus. It's Air Lingus. Air Lingus. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. What is the name of the prequel to Monsters Inc? I don't know. Monsters Inc. Two. I don't know this. I actually have no idea. I think it's Monsters University. That sounds the most correct to me. I I didn't. I never saw. I never saw this. I think it's Monsters I University. D, obviously. Final. Correct. Yep. Okay. How old was Ronald Reagan when he was inaugurated as president? I don't have any idea. Forty-nine, fifty-nine, sixty-nine, or seventy-nine. I don't think it's forty-nine. Uh. I don't think it's 79 either. Maybe it was 59. I'm going with 79. I feel like that's right. No, it's not. Wait. <laughs> How long ago is this? I'm saying 59 and I'm going for it. I'm not confident though. I have to call somebody. All right, we're going to... Who wouldn't know this? All right, Zelda, you're going to come through again. But then again, I'm not sure about it. All right, thanks for nothing. Hang the, Like literally hang the phone up right now. I, cause that, 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 I, I don't know. I was going to say one, this one or this one. Let's just go with it. If it's wrong, it's wrong, but I, I'm going to trust. Okay, good. Actually, good thing. That's a good thing. In music theory, how many quavers are there in a crotchet? We're just playing Mad Libs right now. I don't even know what those two things are. I, what, I don't know what a quaver is and I don't know what a crotchet is. So I, both of those two, you just are speaking like old English to me. <laughs> What's a can I ask what a quaver is? Uh, I, this is gonna be a wild guess, so I'm just gonna say new question. Just do Star Wars. <laughs> Who played the female lead in James Dean's last film, Giant? I'm gravita I'm gravitating over her. What what is this on? This is eight thousand. Okay, please take away. Let's go. Well, I'm gonna try B. Yes, 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 yes. In the 1963 film of the same name, what was the Pink Panther? Uh, with this detective, but it's not detective. It's thief, because the detective is is the detective the Pink Panther or is the the detective going after the Pink Panther? I think that's that's accurate. I, I could be way overthinking this, but I'm 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 I, mean, I think the thief is the Pink Panther. The detective is the one going after the Pink Panther. B for me. 
What? It was Jewel? Oh. Alright, we're gonna take everything off besides uh, superheroes. Okay, I have to have at least four packs. Superheroes? Star Wars? Uh, food? I'll, I'll destroy that. And DC? No. I don't know if I know DC Comics that well. Disney? No. Entertainment? No. They could be like, oh, who was this actor in this 1940s series? We'll go DC. Fine. Star Wars, food, superheroes, and DC. See if I can do it. Which of these movies is the oldest for its release right date answer. in theaters? Um. Oh, shit. Actually, I think it's The Last Jedi. Wait, the oldest. Not the newest. The oldest. It's Empire Strikes Back. I'm gonna say a. I know my Star Wars. Which character does not appear in the movie Wonder Woman 1984? Uh-oh. Can we just do, like, mid-2000s to late-2010s uh, Marvel Universe DC, please? Shit! This is supposed to be easy for me. Okay, right, Aries. It's D, Whatever. I think. Well, actually, I'm sure of it. That is the All right, no more mistakes. From what Italian city does... Panettone? Well, judging by how I just pronounced that name, I definitely don't know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the $500 question. This is a $500 question to me is like, is Thanos purple? Yes, yes, yes or no. That's a $500 question. You know what I mean? This is this is a way harder question than $500. Um, give me give me a new question. When Grand Moff Tarkin asks Leia where the rebel base is, what is her answer? I don't know. I don't know. I just went, I like when Darth Vader's on screen and he has like the lightsaber and he goes like, rrr, rrr. I don't fucking know places. I like when Darth Vader puts his hand up and somebody goes, eh. I didn't pay attention to that, all the other lore. I think it's this one. It's not Dan Tween. It's this one here. It's all, it's, it's Alderan. I think this is correct. B for me. It's correct. I Dan Tween is a real fucking place? To... Dan Tween. Oh, well. What? I That's thought it was exactly. Tatooine. Not Dan Tween. I thought that was the joke answer. All right. Confetti is most associated with which event? Uh, def it's not a funeral. Wait, what? Where's birthday party? What is a hogmanay? What's hogmanay? Hogmanay. What's that? Does that does that mean birthday party? I don't think it's wedding. It's hogmanay. I mean, people throw, you know, oh, like here comes the bride and groom. We're gonna throw the stuff and uh, is it? Con I guess it's confetti. I don't. This is so. I don't know what this is. This is weird. Why is this here? I'm going wedding. I would say D, obviously. I know. Okay. Yeah. What is a hogmanay? What is Wolverine's true identity? Uh, Logan. It's Logan, bub. I'm going to pick A. So, what? It's the wrong answer. What? Oh well. Wait. Exactly. <laughs> what? Hold on. But I isn't it isn't it Logan? Card of caution. Logan. He's Logan. James Howlett. Sorry for you. What is Logan from? Why is it? Why is it Logan? Why is his name Logan? Who calls him Logan? There's a whole movie where Logan's in the, the the whole title of the whole movie. The title is Logan. The mo his name is Logan. Logan is the scientist's name. It's a nickname. You're a fake fan? Yeah, I am. That's fine. <laughs> I just, in big, bold, capital letters, I just remember seeing Logan. I didn't stop to think, and now I've never seen this movie, so maybe that would help if I had seen Logan before anybody screams at me. I know. That's the good one. I'm sorry that I saw X2 X-Men United before I saw Logan. I'm sorry. I have to apologize. I know that's the good one. I know that, that Logan's the good one. In Saint Seiya, from what constellation is Shun's character, the Bronze Knight? I don't know. Well, everyone's laughing at me for some reason. What is it? What, what, what's this from? What is this? I'm, everyone's laughing at me. I'm looking over here and I'm just seeing laughing. There's a stadium full of people just laughing at me. And I, I don't I, I don't understand why. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, what constellation? Okay, a dragon is not a constellation. 
Is there a, there's no Phoenix constellation? What this is like a, a galaxy. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this is from. So I'm I'm gonna say Cygnus. I'm gonna say A. Because that's a const. That's a galaxy. What? Saint. What is Saint Seiya? That's like this. Like Andromeda's a galaxy. That's not a constellation. Oh, this is an this is an anime. This is a uh, this is a manga. I thought this was okay. I thought that, I thought this was real life. I didn't think this was manga. I thought that was a real life. Oh, and Saint Seiya from. Uh, I thought that was okay. Whatever. Anime is real life. That's right. I forgot. That's true. Which musical features the song Matchmaker? Matchmaker. Uh, I think it's this one. This one or I don't think it's either of these two. I think it's this one or it's Fiddler on the Roof. It's it's not either one of these. It's Fiddler on the Roof. No doubt about it. Okay, I was half right. What is Tafeta? Taf Tafeta Tafeta Italian bread. Shiny fabric. Sailor's knot or green tea. That's Italian bread. Final answer. I'm sure of it. You that is not the answer. Well, well, the old geezer messed up again. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was so confident that it was bread. Additionally, who was the assistant to the bridge groom on his wedding day? Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? What is his word? Traditionally, who was the assistant to the bridegroom on his on the to the bridegroom on his wedding day? Okay. The smartest, the smartest friend, the oldest brother, the neatest buddy, the best man. Yeah, sorry, we gotta figure out who the smartest friend is. Besides puppy dogs' tails, what are little boys made of according to the rhyme? Screws and nails, frogs and snails, and puppy dogs' tails. Is that right? What the fuck are we made of? Frogs and snails? And what and puppy dogs tails i thought we were atoms and 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 matter and shit like what i guess this would you know okay frogs well, and snails i'm gonna try b are you, are you big? it's time to move on to a new question which of these amounts is equal to a gross uh hold on which of these amounts so what is a gross half a monkey um, that's not the right answer. I, th I feel like it's this. I don't know. I, there's a million things in my brain. I think it's three. I'm Let's going for it. I think it's, it's either three or it's a dozen dozen. What the fuck does that mean? Does that mean it's 12 twelves? I don't know if I'm confident on this. I might have to get an opinion. I don't know if I can stay with three, but I don't know if I want to do dozen, dozen, whatever. Okay, audience. God damn it. See? It wasn't even close to being three. Why, why, why did I want it to be three? I want it that way was a hit single for which boy band? Hold on. Uh, uh, hit that away. Tell me why ain't nothing but a... Mm, tell me why. But was that in sync or the Backstreet Boys? Bye, bye, bye. It's in sync. I have no doubt. Fuck, I should have been my first choice. That was my first choice. Damn it. Just because I thought of a different song doesn't mean that it can't be the same band. I thought of a different song and I was like, wait, that's Backstreet Boys. This one has to be in sync. Which of the following is not one of the mother sauces? Are they asking what's the first sauce ever? Which of these was not one of the first sauces? I don't know, dude. I don't know. This, is, I know what Holidays is. Holidays, I know what Bacamel is. Bechamel, whatever. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what these are. Mornay? I don't. I feel like it's Mornay. No, Hollandaise is shit. You you put on fucking eggs. It's Hollandaise. It's fucking Hollandaise. Hollandaise is what? It was Mornay. What is a mother sauce? These are weird questions. This is a that's weirdly worded. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. What the fuck is a mother sauce? What's a mother sauce? I've never heard that term before in my entire life. Uh, you know, you know what, sweetheart, sweetie, you know what, tonight, let's do, let's, let's, let's use the mother sauce tonight, you know what I mean? Do you want the uh, ketchup? Yes, I want ketchup on my fucking eggs. Yes, I like ketchup. I love ketchup. What spice is used in 
Speculus. Again, that's another word I've never heard before. Speculus. What is speculus? What spice is used in speculus? This is a food I've never eaten. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what? Who is eating speculus? Cinnamon goes on top of speculus. What is speculus? It's a cookie. It's a cookie. It's a cookie. I don't know either, bro. Who was the only 20th century U.S. president enshrined on Mount Rushmore? Oh, God. I'm going to get this wrong. I, I know it, too. I did the, here's another thing about playing these games, like trivia games. You're a fake American. I know, but listen, listen. I know the answer to this question, but when it's presented to me with other options, I go, I don't think I know the answer to this question, even though I know it's this one, right? I, for some reason, it's like, wait, these there's other options here. You're going to get this fucking wrong, Jeremy. It ain't, it ain't Roosevelt. You're wrong. You seem to be. You got there. But it's right. Which of these is a sliding effect in music? Okay. Um, I haven't spent Glissando? this years educating myself to not know the answer to this question. PC. Pizzicato. Decrescendo. I feel like it's this. I think it's D. Crescendo is. So what would a D crescendo be? That doesn't make any sense. Um, what I just did. Give me a new question. I don't care. Which company bought the website YouTube in 2006? Oh, this is a $100 question. How old is Bulma at the beginning of the Dragon Ball adventure? Oh boy, I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. At the beginning of the, wait, aren't there like 10 Dragon Ball franchises? Is it like, there's like eight of them. So just Dragon Ball, just like Dragon Ball 1. I don't know. So many of you are probably freaking out screaming this right now, but I, I genuinely don't have any single okay, fucking idea. Big one here. And I need, the, the audience doesn't know either. Um, I'm going to go with the highest voted option. Nobody knows this apparently in this audience. Be for me. You know it's 16. Okay. Oh, shit. In the manga, this new question. Gun? Gun? -um? What is the heroine's first name? Why is manga on here? Uh, I, guys, I watched Full Metal Alchemist and Attack on Titan. I don't know any of these. Why would I pick this? Why would I keep this in? All right, let's uh, let's let's see if Zelda knows this. Are you a big fan of the of the manga on yeah, the M? No. I'm certain but, it's A. Put too much pressure on yourself, okay? Not too much. It's D. Ooh. I'm confident about it. That's the right answer. Confident that it's D. Confident? Does does Grandma know? It's D, I think. I, I'm choosing D. Wow, Grandma. Grandma knows more about manga than you do. Diplopia is the technical name for which visual condition? Diplopia. 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 I would I would take the plunge and say that it's either double vision or night. Blindness, and I have to use this because it's unfortunate. Okay, let's... Oh, that's great! Literally, the two that I you didn't help me at all. You did not help me at all. So, well, actually, that kind of does help because I feel like it's night blindness. I think that's correct, and I have to live with it. So, is that your final? Oh God damn it! I was this this this. Don't give me multiple choice fucking questions. Just ask me. Just ask me. Because like I was sitting there going, double vision. It's double vision. You know, I think it's double vision. Diplopia is double vision. But what if it's night blindness? I don't know. That's on here. Just don't give me multiple choice. Just ask me. What is diplopia? And I'll go. Oh, that sounds, Fred. That sounds like double vision to me. And I'll get it right. What is? spent this many years educating myself to not know the answer to this question i've heard this word before but i, I don't I, I nodded my head when they were like oh and by the way today for our consume we have and i was just like i don't i'm i'm i'm, I'm busy playing fucking video games on my ipad what 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 do, i want chicken fingers please this is the 200 dollars question and i've never heard this word i probably have but like i don't know if does it mean a hot dessert the restaurants i eat at guys i don't they're not like and tonight i would like to hear how do you feel about this consume okay audience Soup. Okay. What is the name of the prequel to Osamu Tezuka's manga Blackjack? I'm going to say Blackjack Zero. 
<laughs> it's gotta be. It has to be Blackjack Zero. What the fuck? I <laughs> get get manga, get manga out of here. I'm not gonna get any of them right. Uh, Timon is a prairie dog. Wait, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> wait, hold on a second. Wait a second. <laughs> hold on. This is why I can't have more than one answer. <laughs> Timon and Puma. Puma's the Puma's the, the fucking pig. It's a meerkat? One eye, watch a young warthog! Okay. Uh, salicylic acid used in aspirin derives its name from the Latin word, the Latin for which tree? Salicylic acid, salicylic. I, I should know this. I really should. It's so annoying that, like, I don't know this because I know this. Salicylic acid is... Uh, I, it's, it's, I don't, I, it's, it's either tea tree or sycamore. I should know this. I really should. I should know this. It should be so simple. I'm the dickhead. I'm the asshole that anytime somebody says, oh, anytime salicylic acid is ever brought up, oh, you know, you know, that's aspirin, right? And people go, wow, really? Yeah, salicylic acid is, 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 is used in aspirin. It's aspirin. People go, whoa, holy shit. You are a smart person. You know that. I don't go any further than that. All I know is that, yeah, hey, it's aspirin. Plus five IQ for you and for your head, just how you feel about how I, how I am. Uh, I'm going to say, guys, I'm at $8,000 without a single lifeline. I'm good. It's tea tree. Tea tree, salicylic acid, Latin for tea tree. Let's go. Lock it in. I, it's not correct. I'm not going to do that one. I just thought that it was not a good idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the audience. This question is worth it. I should have just done it. I should have did it. It's tea tree. I... It's tea tree. It's C, right? It might not even okay. be tea tree, though. C. It might just be stupid. Are you sure? <laughs> but it's the game. This is I had all of my lifelines at 10,000. Oh, oh my god. What French confections were popularized by two Carmelite nuns who prepared and sold them to pay for their housing during the time of the French Revolution? French confection popularized by two nuns. Eclair? I feel like it might be Eclair. I would say Eclair. And that's what I would say. And I'm gonna click it. I would say C. Final but it might be wrong. I don't know. This is the three. This how is this a three hundred dollar question? Three hundred dollar question is what is Super Mario's fucking first name? Mario. I had it right the first time. You, I, you guys are fucking with me. I said macarons, and everyone was like, "No, no, no, it's wrong. You are an idiot." And then it fucks with my head. Hank Pym has never been which of these heroes? Um. What? Hank Pym is the guy that created the quantum fucking realm. He's the one that created the realm. He, I, I found, I found, uh, found a solution to quantum travel. That's Hank Pym. Who was he not? What hero was he not ever? I mean, I feel like was Hank Pym Ant Man, or no? He was never Ant Man. He's the one that found the quantum realm, and Ant Man became Ant Man. I'm not, I'm not Ant-Man. I just, I'm the technology guy. I think that's correct. You see, what a pity. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, guys, the, when I watch a Marvel movie, I don't have a notepad with a pen. And he's like, you know, I'm Hank Pym. This is Ant-Man 1. Welcome to, I never even saw Ant-Man 1. Remember I thought Ant-Man 1, I told you guys that Ant-Man 1... They weren't even ants in the fucking movie. I never even saw it. And I remember I was adamant that there were no ants in the whole movie. The whole movie's about how he can control ants. I never even saw the movie. But my point is I'm not sitting there taking notes. Like, Hank Pym was the first Ant-Man. Okay, let me get that down. Ant-Man was the first... Uh, Hank Pym was the first Ant-Man. Never even saw the material. That's a Family Guy flashback. I've never... I never saw the first movie. I was such a fake shit Infinity War fan. It's like, oh yeah, Marvel! Oh, I love Marvel! Let's go! I saw three of the movies over 10 to 15 years. I saw Iron Man 3. The first Captain America movie. 
Ant-Man and, Ant and the Wasp at Infinity War. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck happens in any of these movies. Where was ketchup first created? In the United States of America. I'm proud to say that we created it. France. It was created in France. For those of you that like to know. <laughs> was it China? <laughs> no, it was made in the United States of America, Arthur. It was delicious. Uh, I got it. In which years were the Olympics canceled because of the Second World War? Uh, I mean, it's got to be here, right? I think it's A. I'm gonna uninstall the game. Okay, I I just I fucked up. I fucked up big time. I fucked up big time. <laughs> I fucked up big time. Okay. I can't even explain to you what just happened. I fucked up big time. There, I apologize. Let's just pretend like you didn't even see that. American education moment. Yeah, and I'll say this again too. I know. Yeah, I know some of you guys might still be in fucking school. I haven't sat at a desk in 20 years. I haven't sat at a fucking desk in, in 15 to 20 years. I, oh, I can't believe you don't know this geography. Last weekend, I found out where fucking, where, where, where the sleep cycle is. I haven't sat at a, a desk at a school in 20 years. I probably didn't fucking pay attention either. You trying to tell me that the guy that paid all the attention in school? Not only was it 20 years ago, but I was like doodling in a notebook. I, I wasn't... I, well, did I pay that much attention? I don't know. In cooking, to what does an espuma refer? Espuma. An espuma. I don't know. I put the oven at 400 degrees and I put the salmon in. And I take it out in 15 minutes. I don't... What is an espuma? I put maybe some dill on it. I have a side of broccolini. I don't know this. I don't do this. What is it? I don't know what that is supposed to mean. I put the patty in the pan. I wait a few minutes. I, I, I flip the patty. I wait till the patty's done. I take it off and I put it between two pieces of bread. I, I take lettuce, tomatoes, and croutons, and carrot shavings. I don't know what an espuma is. I'm to I don't know what that means. Who the fuck knows what an espuma is? Okay, audience. Oh, it's foam. Oh yeah, all that all that foam that I use in my cooking. I finish my salmon off with a salt foam. And then the person I served it to question. pukes. Is that was that rude? Okay, that might have been kind of rude, whatever. What was the name of the spacecraft featured in the TV series and film Lost in Space? Danger, danger, danger. We're on Mars One. We're on Mars One. Danger, danger. Danger, danger. We're on Mars 1. Reaching home. Jupiter 2. We're on Jupiter 2. Saturn 4. This is Saturn 4. Reaching out. Mm, eh. mm. Wrong. This is Mercury 3. Mercury 3. Reaching out. Jupiter 2. It is Jupiter 2 is the correct answer. That is the name of the spacecraft in Lost in Space. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for watching the stream. Thanks for hanging out all this time. I don't know. All right, let's call Grandma. Grandma will know. Grandma was a huge fan of the show. Lindsay is in a tight spot in her game of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Do you think you could help her out? No worries, but I have to say that I love you. I don't miss a single one of your shows. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a pleasure to hear, but. Let's get back to the game, please. I see that Lindsay is getting in. All right, we have, we have 10 seconds. Without getting too far ahead of myself, I would say D. Uh, I don't know if that's right. I don't think it's D. I think it's it's either A or B. Grandma, you're just completely wrong. Mars 1. This is Mars 1 trying to reach Earth. Can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? Mars 1 to Earth. Mars 1 to Earth. That's the one. And it's the one that's not capitalized, so it has to be correct. Oh, I fucking hate this game. That's the wrong answer. God damn it, that was a hundred and something thousand. God damn it, that was the one. Which of these means to turn upside down? Turn tortoise. Turn turtle. Turn toucan. Turn turnkey. Go upside down. Turn turtle? But this... Oh, <laughs> hold on. Let me. I just. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes you have to take a chance.
chance. Okay, D. Dude, I just got wicked bad deja vu. Did anybody else get deja vu right there? I'm serious. Really, really bad. Really bad deja vu. Like, this happened. I think this happened like two years ago. The same game. The same exact thing played out. I, I, the same question. And I said, turn, turn, key. And I did the laugh. And it was like, there's no way. And then I, people were saying it was turkey in chat. I, I have actually deja vu. I think this exact same scenario played out. What is the full first name of the Spice Girl known as Mel C? Are you, you fail fishing me right now? There wasn't a time where I ever was like, um, what is the Spice Girl's name? What is, give me, what is all the Spice Girls names? I, I don't, they were just, they were the Spice Girls. There's no way I'll ever get this by guessing, so. Okay, audience. And again, the audience has no idea either, but I was, I, Melanie is what I would have said. I'm going to dare so I'm going to go with it. The audience also agrees. Okay. 64,000. Which animal is a chimney sweep in Alice in Wonderland? Ah, it's been so long since I've seen this fucking movie. It's not a caterpillar. That's the... <laughs> Definitely not the chimney sweep. The rabbit is the... I'm, I'm late. I'm late. I have a clock. I, I don't know what I, I'm too I gotta go fast. So it's either a lizard or a ferret. I don't remember there being a lizard in Alice in Wonderland. But I don't remember there being a ferret either. Chimney sweep. I'm trying to picture it in my head. But this I don't remember a ferret at all. A lizard could be there. A ferret is not there. There's no ferret in Alice in Wonderland. Alright. Come on. We're almost there. $125,000. We got two, what, two lifelines? One of them's useless because it's the audience. What is a gorgain? Which appears in some traditional Quebec recipes. A gorgain. I can't really take a guess. I honestly just can't. So let's see what the audience has to say. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. Okay. There's no way 75% of the entire audience would pick the wrong answer. How many people are in the audience? Like 100? 200 people? 100 people? There's no way that this many got it wrong. But is it just wrong? That's so many people to get this question wrong. But did some of them get it right? Because I was going to say B. The last time I trusted the overwhelming majority in the audience, it was completely wrong. I feel like a P is too simple. I feel like that's not correct. I think I'm going to go with fava bean and be pissed because I didn't go with the audience that actually got it right this time. I'm sure that it's B. Okay, we have faith. And now Come on. The most important question. Yes. Thank you. The audience is so bad. You are so bad. I'm never trusting them ever again. Well, there's only two more questions. Which is the Roman equivalent of the Greek god of the underworld? Hold on. Roman. That's... It's not Apollona. Kronos is... It's Nox. It's Nox. We're at the million dollar question with a lifeline. We're at the one million dollar question. Hope you guys are ready. Let me think about this one more time because it's, it's definitely Nox, but hold on. Apollona is not the Roman equivalent of the Greek god of the underworld. Cronus was... Fuck. I'm second. I'm getting in my head again. I'm getting in my head. This is a half a million. Stop. It's Nox. Nox. It's Nox. It's Nox. It's Nox. Cronus was... What is Dis? Dis? Shit. I don't know. I'm... I've... I'm all fucked up over this. I would say C. <sighs> Final answer. But what if it's wrong? What if I'm overthinking this, but I have... But I'm overthinking it for a good reason this time. Because it, it is Cronus, but it's not. What if it's Diz? I'll be honest with you. I don't think I've ever heard. I I don't know about this. It could just be Diz. <laughs> this chat. I don't. I don't even want to look at it. But it's a mess. 
Nox is not the is Nox the underworld. Nox is she she holds the candle. She's got the three and, she, and her three is a dash forward, and it makes a big thing. And, and and depending on how many people you hit with your auto attack, that's Nox, right? Alona is you know you've got the sword. You can dance switch to sword and shield to you know um, tanky guardian uh, slash warrior. Uh, I'm gonna go and dis final answer. I hope it's right. It better be dis. Or I'm gonna be very mad. It has to be. There's no other alternative. Final? Of yes! Alright. I I'm so glad I overthought that. No slacking off. This is it. <laughs> One million dollar question. I just broke my chair. Hold on. This new question is now waiting for you to be answered with flying colors. In 2020, how many full-length Winnie the Pooh movies had been released ever? Ever. How many full-length... Okay, there's Winnie the Pooh. There's Winnie the Pooh Goes to New York. There's Winnie the Pooh and the Great Muppet Caper. There's Winnie the Pooh and Friends. Uh, hold on, there's... Well, you know what? Look, we're going to do this. Because, yo, fuck Let's that. Take away to it's a coin flip regardless. Okay. I don't think there's been 10 Winnie the Pooh movies. There's not been 10. 10? 10, 10 Winnie the Pooh movies? There's no way there was 10. 7. 7 for a million bucks. Let me just sit here and think. These are, All of these would have came out between like 1980 and 1995. I can't think of more than 2. So there being 7 is shocking to me. Give me the million. Give me the million, 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 give me the million. Give me the million. Oh my god. I that's not the music. That's not the right music. I could have done better, but hey, too bad. That's the game. I was like, why does it sound so fucked up? Why is the sound effect so weird? You didn't lose anything. But anyway, thank you ever so much. There's ten Winnie the Pooh movies. What do you mean we told you? You guys were all saying yay. You guys were all saying yes. It was a sea of green lights. It was a sea of green. There's 10 Winnie the Pooh movies? What the fuck even are they? Winnie, full length Winnie the Pooh movies. I can't believe there are 10. Winnie the Pooh is one of the most iconic characters in pop culture and these are the seven theatrically released films about him ranked. There were seven. Where are the other three movies? How many Winnie the Pooh movies are there? Winnie the Pooh, there are seven Winnie the Pooh movies. I win. How, can I get a, can I get like a recount? There are seven Winnie the Pooh movies. I won a million dollars. I won three were straight to DVD. Oh, that's how they get you. So that's how they got you. Because everybody would be like, wait, there were seven. But then they don't think of the the ones at the bottom of the fucking bargain bin. At your local video store. That had three stickers on it. The first sticker was yellow and said eight bucks. The second sticker is red and is two bucks. And it's on top of the yellow sticker. So, sorry, I did not know about the other three. I still take that as a win. I think that's kind of where I need to stop playing Millionaire because I, I fake won the million.